Hello everyone, Thunderbolt here with a video I wanted to upload because there's something I'd like to address and it's also kind of a warning of what is to come. YouTube is updating their terms of service to comply with regulations from the FTC and it's also to help make the site better. <laughs> better being used in the most loose term possible. The biggest one is one I need to rant about. Anyone remember COPPA? Yeah, I didn't think so. COPPA is known as the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. It's a law basically created to protect the privacy of children under 13 so you can't steal the identity of a child. But hasn't identity theft been illegal for all ages? Anyways now, YouTube is required to ask us creators to mark videos as made for kids or not. Basically it's us doing the job of the parents. Cause you see, this is something I don't get. Like, how is it that us as creators, that it's somehow now our responsibility to fix YouTube's mistake to make sure some kid doesn't watch a video that may have every cuss word in the book, or, you know, watch a video about people doing stupid things like fart lighting, parkour moves that could kill a person, etc, etc, etc. It's like, seriously? That's the parents' job to tell them what they can and can't watch. It's not our job. I'm not responsible if a kid stumble upon one of my older videos, like that Google Plus rant video that I made like years ago. It's not my job. It's the parents' job to tell them what they can and can't do. Now, I know, I know, parents can't always keep a hawk's eye watching their kids every moves. I actually kind of disagree with parents that do that, you know, where they stalk their children's every move, even when he's just taking a dump in the bathroom, especially if he's, you know, long past age 16 or whatever. But anyways, that's not my point. YouTube already came up with a solution after they had to reach a settlement with the FTC. YouTube Kids. Does that ring a bell, Google? Huh? YouTube Kids? Last time I checked, that service was provided just for kids. So they can watch videos that don't contain, you know, any of the stuff that I mentioned earlier. And they also, let's not forget, restricted mode. This is usually enabled on some accounts to make sure certain videos don't pop up in search feeds or whatever. Like smashing videos, videos with cuss words, whatever. But no, YouTube has to do tell us what we have to do, like some dictatorship, so we can spoil this generation of kids that rarely go outside anymore and are just glued to the freaking tablet, phone, or computer screen. What a bunch of complete rubbish. I miss the old way of growing up. Oh yeah, and to add to that, features like personalized ads and notifications won't be available on videos suited for kids. Oh, I get it. You mean you're taking away a good chunk of our ad revenue? Okay, okay, YouTube. I get it now. So you only want yourselves, the big suits at Google, to get richer and richer, and have channels with millions of subs like T-Series get richer and richer. But us below 1 million subs, you know, people like me, just trying to please in an audience, we're nothing? Absolute freaking rubbish. It's like we don't matter. When really, we're the 95% of the freaking YouTube population. Oh, oh, and this video from YouTube themselves. Oh, I love this part. We'll use machine learning systems to help us find content that is clearly made for kids. <laughs> yeah, because such systems worked so well in the past. Remember that old fuss with Markiplier, where users were being banned, unable to even appear? Peel because they thought they were spamming his server with emojis, even just one emoji, when that was the whole point of the stream, to tell him which path to go in a game that he was playing? But don't rely on our systems to set content for you. Like all automated systems, it's not perfect. Well, no, duh. I wouldn't have been surprised if she translated that by looking straight into the camera saying, we don't care if it's, you know, not fully functional because... We're, you know, we're getting paid millions of dollars anyway, so why, you know, if it's broken but it's still making money, then why fix it? Seriously? If you don't set your audience, or if we detect error or abuse, we may set your audience for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's blackmail, basically. And if I don't comply, you take control of where my videos go, and I risk a fine I can't afford. 
$42,530. Yes, that much. I could probably buy an AEM-7 off of SEPTA with that money, with tracks and all, and put it in my darn yard! <laughs> it's my channel! A creator isn't responsible if something bad happens because of a stupid video made someone try something stupid! Because that's how you learn! You learn, and you don't do it again! Why else are there videos that have things like This video may contain content that may be disturbing to some viewers Or I've seen this in certain video titles as Frank and Frankenstein as blunt as an atom bomb Not suitable for children Like for Fred Fluff's sake I've been doing the same thing In most of my documentaries like Ufa or you know, uh, the Hinton train collision, for example. I had certain warnings at the beginning of the video to take notice, like ones like this. Here, just play an example for me, please. You see? Is that not good enough for you? Do we have to freaking dictate and screw over co creators even more? Are you serious? Or has been common sense been written out of the dictionary in Google 2005 minutes ago? along with Confussled, Snort, and Lynch Weenie. Whatever the heck those mean. Like, this is where I question if YouTube will even allow free rant on their website anymore. At this point, we'll have to pay a $2 fee just to upload a simple video with a tax of like $5 per 10 minutes. Like, it's like, are you, is this how, is this where we're gonna go? Is this the future of YouTube? And this is another problem I have. My audience has a large range, from the youngest beginner rail fanner at probably 13 years old, to old people who know how better things were decades ago. <laughs> and I know a Conrail conductor that can agree with me on that. Kids have also watched my documentaries, but did anything bad happen to them? No! No, nothing bad happened. And if they saw the warning, a good majority of them that were smart enough would have clicked away. And the ones that wouldn't would learn not to do such a thing again. Also, if this is to protect child privacy, why are we forced to make kids watch what they shouldn't and shouldn't watch when that's the freaking parents' job? I legit, I legit don't understand this mess of a system. Now here's the thing, okay? My channel, I mean, some channels actually are designed to be made just for kids. And I honestly worry about their monetization levels now once this change takes an effect. But then there's plenty of other channels. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is ones like Poofizure, or however the heck you say his name, where they're specifically designed for adults. I'm kind of in the middle. I have, you know, content for all ages, like Railfan videos for all ages, and let's not forget documentaries, which, let's to be honest, are usually for more less sensitive kind of people. But the thing is, most of my monetization comes from the latter, from the, you know, rail fan videos, like Engines of Septa, for example. So if I have to label those videos as kid friendly, they lose personalized ads, and I lose a good source of my AdSense revenue. As my documentaries, especially every new one ever since Roslyn, they keep getting labeled as. Not suitable for advertisers. And let's not forget the amount of money I have to some, sometimes sink in for music licenses and even footage licenses. So what kind of an idea was this? What were they thinking? I know. They weren't thinking. And I've been noticing a good drop in my monthly ad revenue practically every month now, and it's only going to get worse, and for a struggling college student with a nearly dead, outdated laptop, this is all I need! And I don't have the time for a full-time job at the moment to even break even in life because of my bloody college work! What good can come from this? Nothing! Wow, I gotta calm down. And YouTube won't even listen to some ranting 19-year-old who knows SEPTA well. They won't even listen to me about my complaints, but because but then again, I'm nothing to them. They'd rather listen to you know people like T Series. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little rant, and 
hope you might have been a little amused by my more angry side. I get that from my dad. And uh, I really hope, you know, but I do hope if you, someone from YouTube is watching, that they can take notes and change this complete pointless idea of a term service change so we don't have to suffer like this. We deserve to be treated better. But before I go, if worse comes to shove that my, you know, monetization is either disabled because it's not making enough, or I only earn, you know, like, like let's say $50 a month instead, please go down to my GoFundMe page where any and all donations will be going to help keep this channel running. You can also check out Patreon for monthly tiers where you can get access to certain features. Like, you know, sneak peeks, uh, photos of videos to come, whatever. <clears throat> but, it, but anyway, that's it for me. I need to go have a drink. Not an alcoholic drink because, you know, I'm not old enough and I don't believe in alcohol. But anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.